Hello, my name is Gabe, and welcome back to the hottest show in town. This week, I chatted with Mel Lowenthal, an NHS sophomore and also a very dear friend of mine. She is both a dancer and a choreographer, which means she both dances and choreographs. Let's talk about that. I've been dancing since I was a really little kid. It's something that has always really piqued my interest, and I've always loved watching videos of professional companies and dancing the aisles of um, performances. And I think after I had many years of ballet training, and when I found this modern dance company, I think it was an easy step to take to choreography because I had a lot of ideas that I wanted to experiment with and try on other people. I'm part of a modern dance company here in Northampton. It's called Hatchery, and it is part of the School for Contemporary Dance and Thought, which is located on the top of the Fitzwillies building. The process that I follow when I'm creating choreography really depends on the environment I'm in. So if I'm working with a large group of dancers, I like to gauge what their level of competence is in my movement qualities, and so then maybe I'll create something with them, but if I'm creating peace on myself or working with a small group of people I really know well, I will kind of wait to be inspired by a piece of music I really enjoy or an idea and then do a lot of choreography in my head or on paper and then when I get to a studio or a dance space, try it out and make shifts. And also I think it's such a non-linear process you always go out with an initial idea and it never ends up being what you originally thought it would. So I think learning to let that go and be okay with coming up with new stuff and be okay with different things than you originally planned is a good technique. I think a career in dance or choreography is a very exciting idea, but is also it's so hard to make it in the industry. It's hard to make it in any art industry. Um, I would love to be able to have the freedom to make work and continue dancing, but I'm not sure if it's a sustainable process because you don't make any money um, unless you are extremely wealthy or go into commercial, more commercial dance, which I'm not interested in. There's a lot of great opportunities in college. There's a lot of dance majors right now, and a lot of companies are now looking to people who have MFAs in dance or BFAs in dance. So I'm hoping to go to college and study dance, either as a major or a minor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you after break. Happy Kwanzaa.